high value woman. Someone who will support her man. Someone who has her own life, her own goals. To me, that like reduces the value. I cannot say this in front of camera. Oh no! <laughs> Have you dated a low value woman? This is your daily catch up. Come on, our road to 100k, we are almost there. The 50% of you who are not subscribed, please help us join the gang. Below 100k gang, okay? Subscribe, 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 subscribe. subscribe. Sub. On to the episode. So we found you, right? <laughs> Welcome to part two of our high value dating series. If you haven't seen part one about high value men, click here or down there to get to the first part. Okay, now the second part. What do y'all think is a high, makes a high value woman? Now so that we've spoken about woman. the definition of high value men. Uh, okay, so you all start, start first. Yeah. yeah, oh my god, yes. Wow, okay, now we just get to talk <laughs> about women. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can relax, really. Wait, I'm very thirsty when I think about women. I don't dare say. Oh, talk about men easy. Competing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. easy, evaluating hard. I feel like a high value woman is a woman who can do it all. So, for example, like able to take time to like understand their partner, right? But at the same time, independent and capable in their own right, you know? So like you have that duality, like you can go out there, then you are like commanding. But then when you come home, right? Then you can also be a different kind of commanding or you can be very supportive. But my question is like, why does that only apply to like a high value woman? Like, wouldn't those traits also be- Because low value woman can't do it all. But wouldn't it be attractive to, from a high value man standpoint, if they have the same traits? One more time? No, I think it can overlap. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah, think yeah. it can overlap. Uh, and I think it's a bonus and they're extra high value if they're so hot. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, everybody mm. wins, like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah. Actually, before we even begin, right, <laughs> the first question you posed to us was, what do we think we are? Low or high value? Oh. So for you three, <laughs> do you all think you're a high or low or mid or whatever value woman? I think I'm a high value woman. Nice. <laughs> I believe so. Even right. some people in the comments want to be haters. So Denise, high value? Oh. Yeah. Terms? Oh. She doesn't want to say yes, but she dare. No, she don't. She yeah, already calls him a richer. Like a she damn fine. Need to high value. Humble, <laughs> bright, high value woman. Low. Oh. No, like, really? <laughs> yeah, I think. Okay, mm. Personally, think after looking at the list. Okay, so we have a high, mid, low uh, <laughs> combination, which means that we will have the varying perspectives, lah. Right. Nice. Okay, Shams. Huh? So, what is your definition of high value woman or characteristics? A high value woman, right, is someone who will support her man, like in his in his like dreams whatever he wants to pursue like for the support in the sense that if you want to go if you need time to go like overseas like a month or two to do something sure i'll support you i'll even go there if you need me to why does it sound and so painful for you to say yeah. <laughs> so yeah, sure is, go I, I will support no. you where's elvin going so her value <laughs> is relative to the man my value yeah why yeah my value is how much i can support the which man. is actually the a right. very nice thing because you are thinking about how you I'm are able to, to yeah be of value to somebody else and not yeah. to yourself. But I think I meet right because I emotionally not there yet, like emotionally not stable, not <laughs> yeah, uh, not dependent. No, yeah, no, 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 but you know, <laughs> according to the TV show, men like the combination of like the hot and crazy, you know. Mm. Ah, it's the hot crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. To draw in relative to this ex wife. <laughs> For Spotify, people, people on Spotify, then and Jared are trying to hand sign a draw. A uh, find right. your mother yeah, reference. Much, he really does this yeah. and then the graph draws. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, but I feel like I could be, if I can fix that emotional thing, right? I think I will level up. That's yeah, why I'm yeah. too high. Okay, good luck with that. Mm. You're a woman uh, in progress. <laughs> no, so you think a stay home um, person, like a stay home uh, woman, mom. is the definition of a high value woman? A stay home person. Why? No. Because stay home she, and support because what she's the husband. Doing is support no, I give up her own be, career. I can do my own pursue my own career while supporting my husband. Yeah, no, but because based on your, your definition, it's yeah. somebody who can support a husband, right? So the most extreme version of that is someone who gives up their career so mm -hmm. that they can take care of the family so oh, no, that they no, support no, that's the career I mean. of the husband. That's oh. I mean. oh. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So this is just her definition, it's not her. No, but <laughs> it's, it's what she's aspiring to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Got it. Quit her job. Got it. <laughs> to Got support it. Elvin. Good self-awareness. Mm. Good. Okay. Okay. okay, listen. Hey, don't Google the answer. Eh? No, I'm writing down. I still forget. <laughs> okay, okay. No, okay. So I think like that... You're like prepared answers. From, <laughs> from a low-value woman. I think a high-value woman is someone very confident and self-assured. She knows what she brings to the table. She's oh. smart and sexy. And Sandwiches. She just gives off that natural vibe of like, I think cause as a, when just like, I just feel like when a woman is very confident and self-assured, right? Then 
she's naturally very attractive. True. Agree. Yeah, and I think that's her value. Uh. <sighs> okay. Yeah, like you will want to. No, as in, I think when you when you are naturally confident and self assured, right? Everything that you do, right, is very different already. Mm. Like how you portray yourself to others, how you are in conversations, how you go through life, how you make decisions is different. But have you never met a person who's ugly, both on the outside or the inside, and very confident, like overconfident? And that's not. Have, they are definition. annoying. Yeah, no, but that's yeah. relative, right? They're a bit mm, like, narcissistic. Mm. So then wouldn't the confidence be no, only if they are still conventionally like attractive? The other positive characters. Wait, so you don't think you're all these qualities? That's why you um, think that you are low value? Yeah. Is there anyone in the office <laughs> that you think uh, like represents the high value woman? Um or like just someone that we all know. Shum's waiting for you to say her. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She did jump going. No, no, I see that. Nah, nah, she's, she's a work in progress, man. She's a work in progress. Yeah. I think Okay like I feel Nobody. like When I meet Pat mm. I think she gives off That kind of vibe Like she's very assured And like Knows her stuff Like even if she don't know Right she's willing to ask And learn to find out And like hear perspective So she gives off A very like confident And self assured vibe Like when she walk in the room Right she's not like Paisy or what She'll just say hi to everybody Cause that's just her confident energy. energy la. Are you mistaking it for extroversion? No, 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 no. Is I say extro I or extra? Extro. 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 I, I say I know some no, introverted the word people. Extroversion, extroversion. There are both, I think. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. No, I say I've got me some introverted people who just when they walk the room, then you just feel like, oh, they're like of some. The room, like, I say, how, how for example, what's that smell? Why cannot? Yeah, oh, no, so, okay, so for example, like Jill. Mm. So like, as if she's one of the, like, you would think she's a quieter person in the office. She's not that extroverted. But I feel like when she enters a room, just naturally you think like she is very self-assured of yeah. her identity. So mm. you would be attracted to like, want to talk to her, want to find out more about her. Mm. Yeah, so and the way, yeah, and the way she controls the conversation also, she's very like, uh, she's a, like, a good listener, yet she can banter with oh, you. Oh yeah, she got a good pacing. Yeah, so you know like pacing. what she brings to the table. Then when you converse with her right it's like really like wow it's such a great conversation like I call these women the alpha girls alpha ladies uh, <laughs> they have this energy like she came out with it herself <laughs> <laughs> good good yeah. categorize them label them yes no, 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 fair enough fair enough <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing that the entire episode no but that's a few days ago right cause I I mean I think I've shared it somewhere elsewhere also that I struggle with like female relationships female friendships and then like just like two nights ago or something then Alvin told me that I think right, you are looking for, fa- you're looking Wait, for alpha what? friends, <laughs> alpha girlfriends, alpha girl. Okay, yeah. Means what? Okay. Like like girls like like what she described, well, like very sure. So you're gonna be friends with Pat? Is what you're saying, lah? Pat. <laughs> I thought we are friends. Pat, be friends. <laughs> I thought we are. Become closer with Shams, please. Like you're not the leader of the group, lah. You know, you are the, like in the mean girls. You're not Regina George. Definitely not, lah. I'm not. Yeah. You want a Regina George? You are the. Yeah. It's going to rain. That one is it. I, I cannot remember the in show. Uh, <laughs> she, yeah. she can tell whether it's going to mention. Watch me can tell the weather. can predict the weather. Yeah, yeah she yeah. got yeah. ESPN. No, but I feel like these girls right, will support you, you know. That's so fat. These girls, these yeah. friendships, these girls, right, these alpha girls, yeah. they will support you in whatever you want to so do. So you think you're very good with men la, already? La. Huh? Because you, you, you think you're not good with women, but you think you're good with men. La. I, I, that's oh, yeah, Elvin. Just Elvin, no, not men generally. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, boy, oh, the she dodging the shit test like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can do presidential the the yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, okay. Okay. Men. Is men. <laughs> but then. <laughs> Alright, women, now it's time to let men hear our thoughts once again. Comment down below what do you think is a high value woman? <laughs> Back to the episode. Men, what do y'all think are high value women? I am very much in agreement with Alison because I think she thinks she's a low value woman and I think I'm a low value man. But <laughs> I no, it's not that Alison is not a low value woman, it's that I'm also a low value man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the reassurance that he's getting from no, me. Yeah. I'm trying to empathize, okay? <laughs> but to me, like after talking <laughs> on this whole conversation, it really feels like it's not a gender thing. It's really down to the individual on whether they are assured of who they are, they know who they are in this world and they acknowledge their place in the world, they have accepted it and then they just live life like it. That's all you need. Safe PR answer. Safe PR answer. I'm a low value man, I always go for the safe route. <laughs> okay, but what's the f***ed up one? 
Must be if hot. you had to be. He got something he's thinking yeah. about. Must be no, hot. no, no. Firm <laughs> lah. Like, in your head, always I cannot say this in front of camera because I represent the world. Say the thing you would say at the lunch table. <laughs> <laughs> say the thing you would say after your shot of whiskey. Okay, okay, I go. Go. Then you see whether you can you come back to your okay? sure. you from John Paul's one. Oh my god, I feel. From Jared. Jared's I juice. I feel. We, I feel like what guys want is like the whole monologue from Gone Girl. Oh my the god. Cool the girl. cool girl. What's that? Like cool girl never gets angry, never gets sad. Just like there, look nice, support you. Yeah, so, so I think that it's very similar to what Denise mentioned, right? But but it's defined a little bit differently. Okay. <laughs> so I think that a high value woman is somebody that knows what they want and know how to behave in different situations. To get what they want. Basically, actually not even behave, but can be calm in very different situations. To me, that is a, the definition of a high value woman. And it's because of how you get to that point. Be, being able to do that, right, um, requires you to have the lived experience and have the curiosity to go and delve into things that are in order to understand them so that when you, you are in those situations, you are present, you know how to react. Hence, you can be relaxed. Nothing is like catching you off guard and then making you anxious and that kind of shit. Like that to me feels like a, a high value person, secure in that sense. Yeah. But then the other component which I'm thinking of, because I have met people like that, right? They seem to know what they want, they seem to understand themselves well. But what they want doesn't feel of scale. It doesn't feel grand or like large enough for me to respect for some reason. Oh. Yeah. I, I mean it might be judgmental on my part, but then to me that like reduces the value mm. of the person, of the individual. Uh. Then but it's probably your skill, la. <laughs> Which he acknowledge? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Acknowledge might be so. the problem. Then that kind of like puts me off also. No, but we already established just now that the high value nurse is equivalent to what your you, personal yeah. goals and all that are. So someone but, that can match that and support that would then be high value. So actually, it's okay. Yeah. Is it? Oh. It's high value to okay. you. That answer mm. is acceptable. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know how you feel. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think for me, like it's actually applicable across the board. Actually, I feel like it's a woman that doesn't need to derive her meaning relative to like the guy. She has her own life. She has her own ambitions. She Ooh, the direct opposite of Sherms. Yeah, she doesn't feel the need. Like you, you know, there are some relationships where like the girl doesn't have like her own friend. She's like she her her friend is the the husband or the mm. boyfriend, and then it's all the boyfriend's like friends, and then she hangs out, and then she doesn't mm. have her own life. So like when the boyfriend wants to hang out with his own guy friends like she doesn't have anything else to do and then the guy might feel guilty and need to like hang out with her or like mm. the other way around also like, and I feel like um, that's for social settings it's also for like career wise like she just has her own thing going and that their relationship is not independence or dependence it's interdependence where they both have their own lives but they come together where it needs to be then it's it feels like Jay-Z and Beyonce you know maybe not, not the best example she given his uh, yeah, no. <laughs> no no but then you know she had the heart to like <laughs> to like accept him back and no, like, sure, sure. That, that makes her way more alpha than he and like that's that you know um, Brian Reynolds and that girl from Eva Mendes who oh, that's Gosling oh sorry uh, Blake Lively <laughs> Chuck, sure, Ryan Gosling and Blake Eva Mendes, right? Oh. And what uh, what what goals? <laughs> because Chuck. everyone was saying how awesome Ryan Gosling was in the interview when he plucked Eva Mendes's like business and didn't say like my wife. He said, "Oh, you should really check out uh, Eva Mendes's." Wait, uh, what? Yeah, and Ryan Gosling's wife is Eva Mendes. Yeah, oh my God. Eva Mendes is Hitch girl. Yes. Yeah. The Hitch girl. The Hitch girl. The mole. The mole. The mole. The Hitch girl with glasses. Or maybe like their life Today. partners. I don't know lah. But they they've been together for years. Mm. He said that um I'm because he did a movie with her right, and then they pretended to be a family, and then after they finished filming that movie, he said, "I didn't want to pretend anymore." Oh. Oh. Right. Right. Oh. So he oh couldn't shake the character. God damn. <laughs> I mean, it was text. It was, it wasn't a video. It was text with his face lah. So maybe he didn't say it, but like. Uh, you can believe it. Uh, he went to method, method yeah, acting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like the TikTok video. So or he started off as method. a acting. Ooh. And then really fell it. It's a 10 year thing. Mm. Interesting. Hey, but I just want to say that what I w- my my definition you. is not opposite of his. It's just that like <laughs> I'm supporting. I want to be able to support my partner. No, but that's your main aim. Ma. No, but, no, 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 but you are also your own uh, yeah, person. Right? Your own person. I, I think both can coexist. Yeah. Like someone who definitely supports you, but you're not like a clingy over reliant ship to your, yeah, to yeah, your yeah. partner. You have your own don't, don't you let your own. the low value half of your meat show. 
<laughs> it's like your two holes coming together. Why Don't holes? say that. Why, why, why yeah. holes? No, why, like why holes, holes as a person, like hole, one hole. Like W H O L. Ah, yeah. yes. But sometimes yeah. because you did this, then you intertwine. <laughs> but you still got your, your the Venn diagram. Pers- yeah. yeah. In the middle, uh, then yeah. you align the holes perfectly. You can look. <laughs> That's cool. As the mouth, as the mouth. Oh, sorry, sorry. Like, what? <laughs> what are we going for holes? <laughs> okay, Jared, how? You think high value Don't woman must be hot? La. I know, I know. Defy a low value woman. Uh, oh, oh, that's a good one. Derek go first. What's her <laughs> name? Uh? <laughs> no, okay. I think a low value... Wait, what the f***? I think the low value woman is a people pleaser. It's someone who, yeah, like requires the validation of others and needs to feed on that to kind of uh, find value in herself. Uh, a high value woman in... Uh, contrast is one who has self-confidence and is comfortable with who she is no matter who she is about. It almost seems like the value is tied to knowing your self-worth yes. as a it's very person, much so. as a human being. Yeah. That's what I've been saying. We should, we should all <laughs> exist. Oh, Thanks, John. What? <laughs> what does the internet <laughs> say? So how are <laughs> <the> <laughs> So a high value woman according to woman is a woman who doesn't revolve her life around men. Really? She has That's her own career, hobbies and a great social life that fulfills her emotional needs. So if she does welcome a man in her life, he better be amazing. Mm. Mm. Like even <laughs> that took a turn. There's no girl anyway, in there. Yeah. yeah, so a high value man, uh, sorry, a high value woman also doesn't romanticize men's true nature. Therefore, she's cautious around them and wants to prove wants them to prove themselves before she gets emotionally or physically attached. So it sounds like a level-headed person. So it's someone who, who doesn't chase. Right. And then it's someone who makes men like chase and then mm. uh, holds off on the giving her body. Very presumptuous about the true nature part of things mm. though. Mm. What is I men's true this. nature? Yeah. It's like the definition was made in the 1980s. Yeah, these are not <laughs> anxious <laughs> types. Yeah. <laughs> it's, exp- it's especially important to have airtight boundaries <laughs> unwavering <laughs> standards for how she expects to I be treated can <laughs> recognize toxic or abusive behavior and does not tolerate it does not engage in mind games or manipulative behavior is not afraid to disconnect block and delete people who don't meet her standards or add value to her life yeah so I'll call her when she's 60 like, and she's learned all the fucking life skills needed to do all this shit please la. <laughs> it sounds Dance. you can't stand a good woman is it no, but I think it's very the standard that is being set right now is very unrealistic. I mean, this you is like going through life. You gotta figure shit out along the way for you yourself to be like, oh, everything f-ing perfect in all aspects of your life, and then uh, the be- the right guy better come along and I'll wait. Like mm. very snobbish. That oh. sounds like zero point one percent of the potential population, which is probably that's why fifty percent marriages end in divorce. <laughs> probably, no, like okay, like, Maybe it's not that difficult, lah. But it's like. I feel like it's a least to... I think like it's a guideline. Yeah, it's a guideline. Yeah, it's a guideline. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, you aspire for these kind of Correct. traits and mm. then you try to reach as best as you 70% can. 70% then yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're, on the the right track. you're on the right track. Is this what people say to comfort themselves when they think they can't achieve certain things? Or when they settle? It's just a guideline. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I've, I've, I've also met people that check off like everything, mm. but then... What was missing? It feels like they, they, they think they know all this about themselves already. Mm-hmm. So then they don't try. Mm. And they're not oh. being able to try part and put in the effort to, you know? Growth mindset. Like that part is very strange. And the strange, okay, something that I identify also is that, right? When I go out with girls that are maybe like a. Uh, all men. Like Zoe, so like uh, regularly. Sorry? <laughs> yeah? Like oh, regu- shit, like no, that sounded very horrible. Okay. No, 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 but yeah. wait till last time. No, no, no. <laughs> so, like, I met some people, right? <laughs> uh, that I think they are, like, very good looking. But, <laughs> but they don't know how to old. communicate. Oh. Mm. It's like they didn't have to. Right. They've never had to. Because right. people mm. just like go up to them. Them. always they're always being desired. So mm. they've never had to. And then when it's time to, then they struggle with Yeah, it. and those are the kind mm. of people who are lacking identity and are trying to like feeding off validation from other people. Like yeah. what I think I said. So but this is what women think, um mm. high value women. It's time for what men think. Let's oh go. no. Do you all, do you all agree? <laughs> Because I do see some overlaps with how you have defined it, defined yeah, it earlier. But then <laughs> there are quite a few differences also. I believe in not settling la, and lowering <laughs> you, your standards. Why do you look at Trump when you say that? No, no I look at the... The, the notes, the notes. Hey, <laughs> why are you attacking? No, but I think it's important for... We, like, I think it's very, very different, right? When you date someone who knows what they want and you date someone who doesn't know what they want. But then women who know what they want, then do they just end up being classified as people who like have unachievable standards? 
Okay, no. Do you all think that your women are high value women? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Why? Why? What are the traits that you that you saw at the start, especially when you first met them, mm. that made you like, wow, this woman, ho liao. Jared, go first. Jared, okay, go so first. you know like Dan saying like how like one partner might have a lot of friends that kind of thing and then they go out and then the other person, if they don't have an identity or anything, they might just mm. be alone. Mm. Yeah. My wife is a bit more uh, introverted. A smaller group of friends, a tighter group of friends. I might have a larger social circle. Not saying that I'm very popular or something. But yeah, when I go out and meet my friends, uh, She's totally fine staying at home uh, to read books with. So she's a high value at home. Uh, she knows what she woman. she knows what she is, <laughs> and she doesn't try to be anything else because yeah. of what mm. uh, society say. Like, oh, you need a lot of friends. You go out every Saturday. That kind. Of she's like, no, I'm just going home, stay in my dog, read book. Right, right. The yeah, value, man. the value is that she doesn't. She understands that yeah. she's not. Any, I know what anything I like. Less yeah. Yeah. because her social circle mm. is smaller. I yeah. know what I like. I'm gonna do what I like. That's so sexy, mm. your and wife. It's you. <laughs> Yeah, why? <laughs> Stay stop self sabotaging. <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> Just say yeah or laugh la, 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 la. Okay, well, yeah, then what about you? When you um, first laid eyes mm, or oh. laid whatever on net, then like what was <laughs> What? It's, has, I don't know, it could be anything. Like, <laughs> what you assume is sexual. You can put yes. Maybe you put the, you, you can really? lay lay eggs on her mouth. Oh I heard AIDS. Oh, yeah. no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what? Also that would be damn funny. We're yeah. fine, right? We're good. No, that's why I love them, love. Uh, uh, no, there isn't eggs as well. Okay, so. oh no, no, that no, has no, to be very careful because of such a small conversation. To me it's almost exactly like what I mentioned where like, you know, she's someone who has her own life, her own goals, her own career like her own interests her own friends but then every time we're together or because we, we, I mean, we live together we spend a lot of time together we are both I wouldn't say we're different people together but there is a side of her and a side of me that we both only see and I think mm. that's beautiful and mm. then when we're Backside. out we have yeah. like our professional <laughs> selves which is like you know pursuing our own things and then we support one another when both of us are like trying to achieve our own goals mm. so like to me that's that's a high value woman yeah, you're yeah. like a mega zord a what? A two-person megazord. Is that a Power Rangers? Yeah, the Power Rangers yeah. thing. You know, like all the yeah. animals come and they boom together oh. and then they become the big one. Very yeah. Familiar. Love to build it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's close off with what men think are a high, is a, makes a high-value woman. Okay. So number one, <laughs> I don't like he's this. attractive and appealing in terms of body, mind and spirit. Spirit. Number two, is a comforting character. Number three, discerning and disciplined. Number four, disciplined, yeah. enthusiastic and exuberant. Number five, Loyal. The enthusiastic. Yeah. Enthusiastic. <laughs> What's enthusiastic? Enthusiastic and exuberant. Pop. What's exuberant? <laughs> ex- you mean like a lot. Exuberant. Damn lah, that before. Exuber- no, then she said wrong. After I'm saying. Yeah. I thought she saying the What's same thing. No. Stupid. What's exuberant? Like ooh. Ex- enthusiastic. Like. like exuberant. Like, uh, high energy. Like, high energy. Like, high energy. energy. Oh. I think that one I like. Yeah. <laughs> you like yes. them low energy. But then again, but, this is for high value women. I think in one on one situations, I can yeah, I can tweak that meter. You know, I can turn that dial. But after that, you're very tired. No, you're, you're able to generate mm. like bits of like side personalities that are very convincing. Oh, yeah. No, I, yeah, but the general way in which I carry myself, yeah. overall, I think like on the low side for that. that right, 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 right. Yeah, but, but this is for high value women. It's for women. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he what just heard about what men like. Why are you assuming that I identify as a man? <laughs> so stupid. So what when you comforting. said it, you did it. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a bit mommy issues. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, comforting. but I think it's so interesting. Like to have to have a partner that feels like home. It's like so. Oh. Yeah. Like someone that really grounds you. <laughs> Very yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah. once again, I don't think that's, that's a woman oh, or man oh, thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what net is to me. Your partner it's should feel home. like home. Yeah. yeah. Uh, squatter. <laughs> Did you know that in certain countries, right, there's a law that if this person squats in your house for an X you period can't of time, kick them out. you can't kick them out. They become they own that place. <gasps> US, US. Yeah. This is refugees. No, no, but got a lot of clauses. Got a lot of clauses. Let's not go there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, so the last one was what? Loyal. Uh, loyal. Loyal and something, right? Loyal. Liberating. What's liberating? Huh? Liberating. Uh. Oh my god. Like, like it makes people? you free. Like it makes you feel free. Right? Okay, yeah. Oh, mm. nothing. I don't. Is this liberating? <laughs> I thought like it depends on how liberation you helping. need. Helping. Oh, like assist in assist making you to liberate. liberate. Right. Stop doing that. Right, right, why right. is this? No, but why is this liberating? 
you, know. you feel no, liberated like, That's a release you, ah. yeah. you like never <laughs> the stat- Lady <laughs> Liberty He hasn't liberated in a while <laughs> <laughs> Stupid This is not 4 P's already How come women cannot make into P? No I think it's interesting Because a lot of the <laughs> stuff that men. No a lot of the <laughs> They're too lazy <laughs> No, I think why it's interesting is because I think what men look for in a woman seems to relate a lot to emotional aspects of things. Huh. Like, yeah. you know, like, you know, for example, a woman would look for like someone, oh, respect my boundaries, you know, I have these rules, like certain things, but then this one is like, mm. oh, I want this sort of character, like, you mm. know, like cheerful, comforting. Yeah. So, so, like, basically, yeah. women look for how men can help them, whereas guys look for. Also, how women can help them. No, so I, I can know. say this is this the crude way, which is that they cannot, women cannot do anything else, hence, we only look for that. Or I could say the polite <laughs> and nice way, which is that. The point that Dan brought up in part one of this video was about equality and how we define it differently. Mm. And so women are able to provide a lot of that, those emotional aspects and what more, maybe better so than, than, than men. Lah. Hence, that's something that we value in women. Which is how our brains are wired. Yeah, yeah, but so that's why it's interesting to me, like across the two parts that we have done so far, right? It seems like as much as we try to deviate from gender roles and all that, it always seems like even when we go back to the most root problem of like looking for a partner, mm. be it like opposite sex or what, like looking for, say, if you're looking for a female partner, then these are things that you high yeah. chance look for and, or gravitate towards subconsciously. And then when you're looking for a male partner, then this is what you high chance look for and gravitate towards somehow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is yeah. probably why the gender roles that we, we know today, right, didn't come out of nowhere. Mm. It mm. had to come from things that for over years or centuries, what guys were looking for women, <laughs> women were looking for guys. It's Big just old suddenly and fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my it's god. Possibly. But suddenly, and, and I don't, I, I can see the point, but suddenly it became like, oh, why are we pigeonholing people to mm. like these gender norms? Mm. Because we all are come, you know, we come from different colors and spectrums and like shapes mm. and sizes and all these different things it's but then yeah. for president <laughs> right? yeah. I'm trying to shape at the end of the day <laughs> these social norms shouldn't be cancelled for no reason la. I think I think gender norms are, are there for a reason and it's more likely subscribed to by the majority than not <laughs> no I'm trying to get the fact it's yeah, 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 yeah. overly woke and like goes for the populist like comments, oh. right? You have to like kind of dial it back down Speaker and no, 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 yeah, dial it back. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for watching both parts. If you have watched both parts, comment down below. I'm a great supporter. Okay, see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Ciao. You think if we are triangle shape, we can get sponsored by Doritos? No, that's the reverse triangle. The no, no, doesn't matter. Yeah, you yeah, reach you know? in the back, come out which way also eat. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get sponsored by lace then? I need to be like... <laughs> lace is what? Jangly. <laughs> Potato- the next episode, we're going to do potato chip shapes. <laughs> we'll rank them. We'll rank them. We should rank snacks. Yeah. We should, we should rank potato like chips. Ranking ah. snacks. This is not a food channel or could we be? Oh, mm. Or subscribe to the oh, channel. Yeah, oh, go to the channel. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry, sorry. Ruffles okay. is the worst. I love ruffles. What? I hate the. I love. You, I hate when people hate pronounce ruffles as ruffles. Huh? It's like ruffles as ruffles. No, like oh my god, I'm going to ruffles place later. Who the? F- <laughs> I <laughs> know. Yeah. 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 I met at least five people who say that, and I always burst out laughing. Ruffles. I've never met ruffles. No, they're all women actually. <laughs> <laughs>